Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday 29 of the um, June 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex uh, calendar. As you can see, I just switched on this web page on the instaforex.com uh, uh, website. And uh, what do we have here? The first thing is uh, that during the uh, overnight session, the Tokyo session, there wasn't too many important news uh, published uh, except the Reserve Bank of New Zealand Governor uh, Aden Orr uh, speech. Uh, 10 past uh, 6. Uh, during the London session we have uh, some data from the UK like nationwide uh, house price index, money supply, mortgage approvals and uh, uh, net lending to individuals. 11 o'clock uh, uh, data from <coughs> the Eurozone are being published in form of the consumer uh, confidence and then at 1 o'clock we got another speech from MPC member Andy Haldane. At 2 o'clock p.m. the scheduled news from um, Germany in form of the CPI and harmonized CPI data. As you can see the CPI is expected to decrease slightly from 0.5% to 0.4%. Uh, the key data for today is uh, scheduled for release at 4 o'clock. This is the consumer confidence data from the US and the consumer confidence is um, expected to increase from 117.2 to the number of 118.9. So this is how it looks right now on the uh, on the Tuesday's uh, calendar. Um, I think that we should take a look uh, firstly uh, on the US dollar to the Japanese yen. Just a slight update of the yesterday's chart. So what is going on here? Um, not much is building up yet. Uh, we have a rejection from 110.98. So right now we um, uh, we uh, went a little bit lower, around 38% of the last uh, last wave up. So right now we are yeah 50 even almost 50% of the last uh, last wave up. Um, Right now, uh, 110.43 is the 50%, 110.26 is 61%, 1% Fibonacci retracement, we are expect, expecting a bounce from the, one of those levels and then of course uh, up uh, uptrend or this, I mean uptrend, this up move because it looks like a some sort of the correction. Uh, anyway, uh, this up move should go towards 111.71. Uh, so that's the short update on the yesterday's um, US dollar to Japanese yen. Let's take a look at the uh, British pound to Japanese yen then. What is going on here? As we can see, uh, we had a failure. We had a failure uh, at the level of uh, 155.13. There you go. This is the local a technical resistance right now for the uh, for the market as you can see here um, very interesting pattern uh, the second red bar is outside of this of this uh, first bar so it's definitely bearish engulfing with a with a very very uh, deep uh, penetration uh, from 155.12 to 153.80 so that's a lot then we have a continuation of the move down um, the market is testing the uh, technical support but it might not be enough for this market uh, so please keep an eye on uh, again uh, we need to switch this technical support a little bit lower because we have a new low around uh, here so that's 151.32 or 29 even so that's 29 131.2 29 that's the low and uh, right now of course let me just move this uh, there you go 3.05 is the latest uh, latest uh, correction which is typical for this uh, for this market the other technical support will stay uh, around here I guess we have retraced around 50% there you go we have retraced 50% of the last move up so 50% uh, is on 
61% is 152.76 very strong uh, zone for the bounce if there is no bounce and no new high above 155.13 then we are going lower 152.39 is the other technical support and 151.29 is the the last technical support please notice the fact that we are out of this acceleration channel we are getting closer to the sh uh, this short term trend line and we are getting uh, we might be getting back to the uh, main channel so please keep an eye on this market um, market behavior because it's uh, it's very very important right now to see whether this move up will be continued or whether that was only a one uh, a three day um, three day bounce with a correction and then we are accelerating uh, lower uh, crude oil we need to take a look at the crude oil as we can see uh, on the crude oil daily time frame chart we have hit um, the level of uh, 74.44 uh, this is the uh, the higher high and right now um, we have a bearish engulfing pattern but the market is still inside of this channel and now as you can see we are fighting for the uh, for the um, the lower channel boundary uh, we got a couple of uh, technical supports uh, right now uh, they are more more likely like uh, intraday ones one of them is uh, somewhere at around the level here uh, let's say uh, 72.15 so as long as we trade above this level there are chances to uh, for the bulls to hit the level of 75.16 which is the next target for market participants the key technical support 70.10 uh, which is um, which has been tested um, on the 17th of the uh, June 2021 so please keep an eye on the 70.10 as well uh, we are not that far away from this uh, from this level however as you can see we're still trading inside of this acceleration channel to the upside so crude oil is still uh, looking bullish but we have the first trigger bearish engulfing uh, pattern it might be uh, around a couple of um, of uh, percent down move maybe a pullback not necessarily down move let's take a look we have this here and this here so the last correction was 4.55 percent that was the biggest one so please keep an eye on the on this uh, on this correction let me just uh, make it uh, the other way around to see if I'm not wrong no let's say 4.40 0.4 percent the last correction so please keep an eye on this one uh, as well uh, if there is a bigger correction than 4.4 percent there is a chance we have a price and time over balance possibly the market will be trading out of this acceleration channel as well so that's a uh, important news um, for all of the um, uh, for all of the crude oil uh, traders for uh, for today and of course because there is a uh, uh, consumer um, the confidence from the um, from the US today I mean this data uh, are going to be of course released we can take a look at our S&P 500 index and what is going on here of course we are going up we are going towards 4000 and 300 just as per our black arrow scenario nothing new here we keep uh, going we keep going higher let me just add just my my uh, so-called ending diagonal it might be ending di diagonal it might not be ending diagonal we will see what that will be uh, here we just broke above this upper uh, triangle ending diagonal line uh, we are heading towards four thousand and three hundred the nearest technical support let me just uh, clone some uh, some lines here the nearest technical support is around the level of four thousand two hundred sixty 
66 so please keep an eye on this uh, level and there's another technical support uh, around the level of uh, 4239 so th those are the nearest technical supports of course this bullish engulfing is a super strong signal that the market is strong momentum is positive momentum is strong as well we are around the level 65 points so we are going up on the s p 500 index again and please uh, prepare yourself for the test of 4300 points so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you guys tomorrow bye bye